Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here, and welcome to another creepy review video. Here we're going to review on something dark. Will be local 58. Something about the moon, eh? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, here we go. Mostly, this all started between the show for children. It's another type of broadcast that will try to uh, contact the, the children as well for them to watch this. It's something about for a great mistake old cartoon back in the 30s or 50s. Until with this Galato character who mostly just looking for his own deceased wife around the graves. Until he mostly think about finding one until it only shows something more scary for a skeleton. A very dark looking one. He runs away until one of the moons will stare stares down at him. Until he found another one, but this time with a dead animal. Much more terrifying looking. He runs away until the moon becomes a little bit creepy with his own face turning. He mostly feeling scared right now until he found another grave, but it's empty. He goes in and he walks into some sort of cave looking. Until he finds another opening for a grave and lies on and look at the sky. But while the moon is mostly blocking the sky, and that lately kills the character. And that's the end for this type of show for the children. Weather Surface That this is mostly a central plot point of Weather Surfaces after an EA's weather warning. We get a glimpse of the moon itself, albeit barely in the frame. The alert states that a warning for a meteorological events has been issued by the county weather service and that is effective until tomorrow morning. It then advises against viewing this event, the moon with the naked eye. The weather warning is then upgraded to a civil war danger alert, advising to stay indoors and not look at the sky before more information can be given. That EA is, is hijacked by an anonymous third party who claims that the infant is safe for all of the view. And the warning has been lifted on our message read to go outside now. Why the EA is hijacked there would encourage the viewers to endanger themselves and whether or not they are related to stay of the moon is currently unknown. So this must be a thing that they it wants people to go outside to stare at the moon. But the other person who's mostly us is trying to stop it. So whoever this or our person is could be something else who tried to make us look at the moon. Huh, that's strange. And next, six one might be different from the moon, or something is a little bit connected to it. But it's mostly about the fastest available route. That's mostly with this unknown person is driving around the road until his own GPS it tells him to mostly go forward and show the location where he needs to go. Until it mostly uh, he stopped in the middle of the forest. Until he turns off the lights and turns it back on and shows a creature. Whatever it is, he freaks out and drives off. Trying to escape, but no use. He mostly made it to the first stop. Which means he's dead. While the vehicle is mostly on fire. You have arrived. And next. It's mostly we got is real sleep. That real sleep takes place somewhere in 1983 and the moon is never seen nor mentioned. Thus, it is impossible to tell if the tape is related in any way. It's mostly a thing about something about the thing about you gotta say, there are no faces.
we'll get to the one that is sky watching. At first, the moon is normal size, just like it is in normal nights. So it's very night. <laughs> like I said that. Something happened with the thing about that this person, whoever it is, placed his camera when he went outside. Until it's like he's mostly trying to look at the moon and put raising his arms up. Until we hear these sirens coming out of nowhere. Until the bright turns a little bit dark and we see the whole view of the moon. And so that's all we got for this type of review, but there's some explanation I want to have, or a theory. What does this all mean? Well, I could explain during the part in the Apollo missions, that we uh, mostly tried to uh, make some broadcasts or these type of satellites or everything to connect to the moon to ours to everything. But that means, even with the moon mission the Apollos, we've been disturbing them, which means Something is a little bit similar to Apollo 18 mission a bit, but it's not. But something about it makes sense a bit about having aliens up there on the moon, and seeing this strange looking view of the moon as like a big creature, is something similar, similar to Dead Space series with a uh, brotherous moon for a hive mind planet. Something similar like that. So, what does it all mean? And why we all have to stare outside or everything? Well, after the moon's mission, all that, years later, like in the 80s, until or s mostly get these type of things about there are no faces, until we see these type of things, the broadcast, everything, and sometimes there are some people who try to stop the other one who try to make us look outside. Whoever that person was, it could be a alien creature, something that we saw from that, uh, that GPS video, or rather just a person who's already got been taken by the moon, or whatever it is, brainwatch them to do something to make all of us to look at the moon. But what about that alien that we saw? Well, that could be a different reason. If we manage to not look at the moon in time, if it times go by, the moon gets a little bit upset and sends so many armies of aliens to come down to Earth to, uh, to attack us. It's mostly alien invasion. So that's mostly the first start of that, if that could be true. Besides it, the thing about staring the moon is no use. Who knows? And something about the cartoon show? It's similar to that idea about having these people that you've seen in the grades are mostly people who already got been taken by the moon itself and one person is alive but rather not didn't manage to escape until dies. 
and something about that thing about the moon's look. Something about the arrow that we had to stare on. It could be that body, whatever it is coming out of the moon. It could be like a shell type of thing. It's almost half like a skeletal face a bit, but it's truly not, I guess. But what happens if that moon is mostly like a shell version? Until inside of it, the full view of it, is mostly the full creature coming out of the moon until it attacks us, attacks our planet. Well folks, that'll be it for now for this review. I hope you'll enjoy it. This is Lord of the Flames here, I'll see you guys next time. Bye folks, have a wonderful day.